did you like the intro? That intro took so much time to make for such a short introduction. Anyway, this is my review of Revived by Cat Patrick. This book tells the story of Daisy. She's 15 and she has a really interesting story. When she was five years old, she died. She was in a bus crash with a load of other kids and they all died, everyone died. But the bus was chosen um, to be a test for a new government drug, a new drug developed by a government agency called Revive. And it has the power to bring people back to life if they've died quickly. So Daisy and all the other kids from the bus are, most of them are brought back to life. And from then on, Daisy's whole life becomes complicated. And Daisy dies more than just that one time. And every time she dies, she has to start over. She has to go to a new town, new name, new school, new people around her, everything. Everything has to change every time she dies. She can't really explain her past because it's, of course, a top secret drug big big secret she can't explain properly what happened she can't get close to anybody and that's really really hard for Daisy so she's never really had any proper friends she's started over all over again and she's moved to a new town and she makes friends Audrey and Audrey's brother Matt and things go from there she starts questioning the program she starts questioning everything that she's accepted before starts questioning the program and her own role in it the thing that really surprised me about this book was I, ex I expected it to be a very fast-paced sci-fi adventure book all about like the program, really adventure, all focused on Revive and it didn't turn out to be like that. It kind of revived the drug, serves as a backdrop for a very, very personal story. It's much more about Daisy's relationship with Audrey and Matt and her kind of acceptance of mortality and her musing about what it means that death isn't final for her and I really like that I like how it moved past the kind of adventure story level and became something deeper and something more significant the one thing I did notice about this book is that the character story sometimes felt a little bit too heavy so that the ending ended up feeling a little bit rushed. I felt like suddenly this whole mystery was kind of shoved at us and the last few pages, I mean it was really really exciting but I kind of wasn't sure. It felt a little bit sudden. I also feel like there were a couple of things not explained properly in the book. Everything they kind of gave it a shot to explain it but explanations were glossed over or kind of we were left to tie up the end ourselves which I didn't really like. Overall I did really like this book. It was quite fast paced. I read it in one day because I just got so into it. It was really really interesting and I'm going to give this book four stars out of five because I did really, really like it. I just felt that some places, a little bit rushed, a little bit too focused on the characters. The characters themselves were very, very believable. I did like the characters. I liked Audrey. I liked Matt. I liked the inevitable romance. Once the romance got started, it was great. I liked the realistic relationship, but I felt like it started very, very rushed. There was no real, like, why she fell for him other than he was cute. That was the only thing was the romance felt a little bit, you know, here's our male character and here's our female character and they're the main male and female characters so of course bang, they fall for each other. I think if you're someone who really enjoys contemporary fiction and are looking for contemporary fiction with a bit of a sci-fi twist, this would be kind of your type of book. If you prefer more hardcore sci-fi, it might annoy you a little bit how things are sometimes glossed over because generally in sci-fi things are explained more than they were in this book. So that's the end of my book review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've read this book, tell me what you thought of it. Tell me if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you like my videos and I'll see you soon. Bye!